Hi, welcome to my channel again. Uh, today we're at Wingfoot State Park in Ohio, home of the Goodyear blimp. And we were actually lucky enough to see the blimp fly over as we got to the park. Today we're trying out a quarter wave vertical telescopic whip fully extended it works on 20 meters as a quarter wave uh, we actually bought it DX engineering which is very close to the park okay sorry about that uh, Victor Echo 2 uniform sugar papa I've got you a 44 in the kilo 3516 QSL All right, I copy that 55 into Victor Echo 0962 QSL. Thank you for the park to park. Have a good one, 73. CQ. Is that a Kilo 2 station? So anyway, as expected, it worked very well. It's a quarter wave vertical and we all know how those work, I hope. Um, but I thought we can improve on this. So I decided to do some experiments and some home brewing, see what else we can do with this uh, new toy. Okay, what I'm gonna do as well to make this antenna even more useful is build myself a loading coil so I'm going to use some piping, I think this is 2 inch diameter and some end caps and you can see I've already attached uh, the bolt and I'm going to have the other end the coupler to screw the whip into and this will make the antenna work on, I think I'm planning on it uh, working on 160 on top band. I actually want to see if I can do that. So it's going to be a pretty big coil. I'm going to use an online inductor calculator to figure out with the diameter of the wire I'm using what exactly size it's going to be. I'm estimating it's going to be mm, about a foot and a half or so in length. Anyway, we'll see. We'll figure it out. So I'm winding this now, um, I'm actually winding both the wires uh, for the speaker wire and then pulling one of the wires off so I get even spacing like this. Um, I've drew, drew, uh, drilled these holes here, bared the wire here um, so that I can clip on crocodile clips to tap the inductor at different points to give me uh, give me different loading characteristics for different bands I'm gonna experiment around with them um, the original idea was to do a big long coil like this only as I was stripping the wire it ripped broke so now the new plan is just to make a shorter coil see how it works I was thinking I could make two coils and stack them together if I want um, I'm thinking, you know, if it will cover top band, maybe. I think that might be a bit, um, a bit too much though for a vertical. I'd be probably better off uh, just making a longer M fed for that. But onwards we go, experiments. Okay, it's complete. I got these, this little jumper cable to short it. To, uh, different parts of the uh, coil. Now I'm going to go and do the math and see what I got. Okay, using this calculator, I'll put a link in the video. Um, I plugged in my figures. Uh, I put the antenna slightly shorter than it really is so that I could um, adjust it. And I'm going to put the coil at the bottom, so that figure is zero. 
uh, the diameter of the conductor uh, which will be written on whatever wire you buy and I just put it for 7 megahertz uh, just to give me a figure and that brings it out it to 8.8 .8 micro henrys uh, for the required inductance And if we look at this calculator to see what the inductance is of this antenna, it was thir this coil rather, it's 37 turns. Uh, the the, uh, the uh, diameter of the former I'm using the pipe is two inches. Um, seven inches long is the length that the actual coil is. Uh, that brings me to 17.3 microhemries. So, in other words, this will work on 7 megahertz. Um, now, I was hoping it would work on uh, 80 meters as well, but if you look, I put 3.6 megahertz. Um, that would need I would need 45 microhemries, and. As we already said, this will give us 17 microhemries, so not enough, I'm afraid. If the wire hadn't snapped while I was doing this, I might have got there, but um, anyway, this is going to be a good start, I think. I'm going to try a Mark II and try and prove this, because this is pretty crude, as you can see. But, uh, this is the nature of experimenting. Let's go and try it. Okay, we're gonna try it out on the car. And it's windy, so it's getting a real test. Okay, so it was a good success. Uh, I've got five nine reports. Uh, I forgot to record video of the actual contacts, unfortunately, so you have to just take my word for it. Uh, one more thing about this call I want to uh, include which I didn't is um, you notice the spacing as I mentioned earlier well just I think it's important to uh, mention that this is on purpose because of reactants we're not trying to make a, a uh, inductance coil so much as physically shorten a very long antenna Usually when you're building an inductor, you want to keep the windings uh, closer together. Um, but with this, you want a space of um, one wire width or, or even more. Uh, you might notice that if you buy antennas commercially like fire sticks for CB, etc. They have helical wound coils and that's because you're trying to avoid the skin effect or rather take that into account anyway that's all I have um, thanks for watching the video um, you'll find resources on more of the details about antenna theory online I won't go into that too far as I'm not really qualified to do that I just like to tinker around and share the hobby with others who might be interested so thanks for watching 73s and like and subscribe and all of that